Hello everyone, this is Dr. Frahat Ali and you are watching Dr. Square. In today's video, we will learn that how we can activate and even install the SPSS MS27 version in our laptop or desktop. The previous video, I have told you that you cannot activate SPSS MS27, 28, 29 or the latest one MS30 version to a trial period. You have to purchase a license key to activate these versions, but you can download install and activate the SPSS MS26 version through the IBM ID and you can use the trial version. And if you are facing any kind of difficulty in downloading this software, if you are facing problem in activating the software, if you do not know how to apply for a license key for this software, you can contact us. We will guide you that how you can download SPSS 27, 28, 29. 30th version of MS software and we will also guide you that how you can apply for this license to the IBM company and how you will receive the license key. You can contact us through our email ID rahatali 8 at gmail.com or you can send us a WhatsApp message that you can see on the screen right now. Both email and WhatsApp number will be available under the description. Do share a message, we will guide you. So without wasting any further time, let's see that how you can install SPSS MS27 version in your laptop or desktop. I have the setup file of MS27. If you need it, you can contact us. We will guide you further. So I'm going to click on this one and we will see what procedure you have to use. So first I have to give the permission to the software. So the install sheet wizard has been started and uh, you have to select the next button. You, you have to select the license agreement option. Next, you have to select the destination folder. And here you have to select the install button. And meanwhile, while this whole process has been completed, let me tell you that you have to mention IBM MS in the Google. And you will see the first link IBM SPSS MS. You have to click this option. You will next see this page and here you will have to select the try SPSS for free. When you will click on this option, it will ask you to create an account, create an IBM ID. You need an email ID and you need a password and you have to mention some of your detail like you are a student, which country do you belong, your mobile number, etc. And then after register, you will see this page and here it will ask you to select the information like if you want to receive some details from the IBM company then you can ch check on this option otherwise simply you can click on the continue button and the next you will see this page will appear in front of you and here you can see they are only providing MS26 trial version so after activating the IBM ID and you can use the trial version for only IBM SPSS MS26 version you cannot use trial version for 27, 28, 29, 30th version. For that, you have to purchase the license key. I'm going to click on the finish button now. And uh, you will see it will ask me that you do not have any license. So just wait. And uh, okay. So the page has been appeared and it's asking me that you do not have any license key. Click on the OK button. Here, most of the viewers are stuck that how they can activate the license key because they have the license key but the software didn't ask for the license where they have to mention it so what they have to do they have to go for search here mention MS and then you have to mention the version that you have purchased like I have purchased 27 so I'm going to click on this one so if you click on this one you will get an app option and if you see this option IBM SPSS MS27 license authorization wizard. This will lead to your authorization page. Like you can activate the license through this option. But if you want to open app, then you can click on this option. So I am right now clicking on this option and uh, it will take me to the authorization wizard. So I have to select this option. And uh, meanwhile, I'm activating my internet. So you need internet access for uh, authorization wizard license activation. So after the installation of the SPSS MS 27, 28, 29 or 30 version, most of the customers or the viewers stuck that what they have to do next. So how they can, you know, mention the IBM license code and where they have to mention it because the software doesn't provide anything. So you have to go to search option. Here you have to mention IBM 
SPSS MS 27 version like any version that you have installed in your laptop I'm going to mention here 27 and uh, you will see this option the graphics option is to open the app and if you want to mention the license authorization wizard you have to click on this option and it will take you to the next page where you have to mention the authorization code so here you have to select the option like if you have the license of a single user license then you can click on the thrice user license option if you want to activate this software through the company organization license code then you can select the second one option i'm going to select the first one then click on the next button here you have to mention the code i'm going to mention the code here now click on the next button and here it will try to activate this software through the internet you keep have to keep the internet active and now click on the next button the software has been activated and expiry date is here you have to click on the finish button now the software has been successfully activated so this was the procedure to install the software and to activate the software so if the software asks you that you do not have access to the administration so if you face any kind of difficulty in activating the software make sure you open this link with the run as administrator option if you open this license authorization wizard as a run as administrator then it will ask you to provide the code and other things like sometime it give you an error like you do not have the administrator rights for that case you have to select this option otherwise there is no need to select this option you can simply open the license authorization wizard and you can activate your software with the license code so we have activated the software now i'm going to see that how this software layout looks like i have to mention the software version which is 27 and uh, i'm going to mention it here and uh, it will give me ibm spss ms 27 graphics option i'm going to click on this option and the software will take some moments to to show you the screen so this is the layout or design of the software so that was the whole procedure if you are new to our channel please do not forget to subscribe the channel share this video and if you face any kind of difficulty in downloading the software if you couldn't locate the download link you can contact us if you do not know how to apply for the license and if you are facing difficulty in activating the license do not forget to send us a message on our email id prahadali 8 at gmail.com or you can send us a text message at whatsapp number which is right now is on your screen and this whatsapp number and email will also be available under the description thank you for watching keep sharing the video bye